Cybersecurity is almost like cat and mouse between the criminals and the defenders. But the risk is asymmetric. Attackers need to find one vulnerability, one time, to achieve their goals. Cyber defenders need to defend everything all the time. It is uh, relatively safe to commit cyber crimes because of jurisdictional issues. And right now is a really profitable business model for criminals. No company is too small to be a victim of a cyber attack. And we've seen that um, over and over in the past few years. We see these attacks taking place at national infrastructure. We know that if we lose electricity, if we lose water, then people who are vulnerable, people who have illnesses, they die. This is not just about causing inconvenience. Much of cybersecurity today, as practiced, is firefighting, because it has to be. We used to think of it as castles and moats. The thought of all of my networking has to happen within the confines of the perimeter that I'm responsible for. I think that idea has shifted. There are more and more devices connected to the internet, and it's all very convenient, but cyber criminals know how to attack those devices. People can work from home, they can work on a business trip, they can access from different organizations, there are third parties. So the perimeter has to be understood differently. Cybersecurity is not only at the perimeter, but in every transaction. It's not about having a team of cyber experts saving the world, because it will not work. It's about having everybody to be conscious about the risk so that they can play their role. And the responsibility of cyber leaders is to make this responsibility everyone's responsibility. We're dealing with a multi-stakeholder problem, but we're still living in a world where there is no global governance. Neither the public nor the private sector will be able to manage the cybersecurity war that is happening. Those that have a common enemy need to work together. When we talk about true private and public sector cooperation, it's effectively passing the ball to the public sector in a way that the public sector can understand and use technical information. The pressure is on for us to become more collaborative, more effective, and to move more quickly. So as the metaverse develops, as quantum computing comes online, we're ready to work with those experts who truly understand those new harms that we can't even think of. Cyber is not a risk that you can make disappear, but it's a risk that you can manage if you become agile and proactive, and you come with the right talent and skills to face the challenge. <laughs>